Tone Ranger here. Um, just letting you know, I'm a little bit nervous right now, more so than I was uh, the last challenge I did. Um, I got something special for you tonight. Um, Going to be something that I, a challenge that that's probably hotter than anything I've done so far, other than just you know random sauces that I put on things and. Uh, but before I do that, I want to give a shout out to a lot of the guys that have inspired me from YouTube. You've got uh, Johnny Scoville from Chase the Heat. Dude, just uh, he, he's got issues. And uh, as far as I know, he's the first person to complete the uh, Willie Pete Nemesis Challenge. Crazy. Not, don't think I'd ever do it. Uh, his Chili Cherry Nightmare was hard, hot enough. I could just get through one little block of it, and I'm like, I'm done. Sorry. Uh, Maven Pong, he does a lot of spicy challenges, and I, I talk to him every now and then, pick his brain, what stuff he likes, and come to find out I like a lot of the same things too, but my tolerance isn't near what his is. Um, guy that I've just uh, recently started talking to lately, uh, he's a hot sauce junkie Tim. He just did a, a hot jerky challenge tonight, talked to him a little bit there, and just told him I'd give him a shout out, and said, yeah, thanks a lot, fella. And so there you go. Anyway, I got some special stuff in the mail today, and and one of the things I've ordered before, and uh, show you what it is real quick, and went to Blazin' Foods, and they have these Carolina Reaper peanuts, and they have three different kinds. They have a green, yellow, and red. The green is uh, um, the the most mild, and those are pretty good. These uh, this orange bag it has uh, ghost peppers in it along with the reaper um, uh, powder formula these are my favorite uh, they've got just enough heat to, to let you know it's there and um, and, um, and I like I said I apologize I don't do this a whole lot and and uh, got my iPad sitting in front of me and and I've got to look at it a certain way and it's just crazy but anyway um, the, the, the yellows are my favorite. They're medium. They don't have a, a huge amount of meat, heat for for me. Um, but, you know, if I eat the whole bag, you know, it, it's going to sting a little bit in my chest. And Reapers just really hit me in the chest hard. And But the uh, they, the red ones, those are the hottest of the bunch. And I can handle about a handful of those before I'm really hurting. And as a matter of fact, one time I uh, had some left over from work and was headed home and I've got about a 15 minute drive and and think well, you know not gonna hurt that much and uh, I was wrong because as soon as I got home I started getting dizzy got a crazy endorphin rush off off of them and they almost made me sick but not that anybody really needs to know that but um, my my heat journey kind of started about a little bit over a year ago I'm not not really keeping track a whole lot but a uh, guy that I work with brought him some crazy hot salsa from the Pepper Palace and had me try some of it and of course that weekend I had just come off of a stomach bug and and I hadn't had anything to eat that morning and and you know stupid me I grabbed his Frito and I just dunk it right in and chow it down and immediately started getting hiccups and about 10 minutes later the I, I guess it's extract powered but it hit me right in the chest and I'm like oh my gosh this is the hottest stuff I've ever had but and so it's been my goal to kind of up the bar a little bit with my tolerance and see how many people I can hurt at work but it's it's funny but I don't I don't really play around with that stuff a whole lot because it, it hurts and and people are just kind of you know they're they're scared of some of the things that I I bring in but anyway got something special for tonight and I'm really nervous my kind of shaking a little bit and and uh just got just wrapped up with dinner and had had lots of starches and milk and I hopefully I prepped good enough but been wanting to do this for a while but just been afraid but this is what I'm gonna try and do tonight it's the Blazin's food Blazin food death nut challenge 2.0 and here's the back of it and sorry about the glare I was gonna do this outside but it's been crazy weather and um, rain been raining most of the day and been kind of uh, it's cold about around 50s or so Midwest you know weather's crazy around here but anyway the there's five different levels from mild mild plus medium hot and stupid hot 
uh, which is your death nut. And the first one is getting started, Carolina Reaper and chocolate bootleg peppers. Two is warming up, Carolina Reaper and ghost peppers. And I have a feeling I'm going to like that one because I, you know, what's crazy is I've never actually had anything hotter than a habanero as far as real pods go. I know what kind of what some of these things taste like, and I know Reapers are just, they, they mess me up. Um, but anyway, uh, and then I've got sauces of, with different peppers. Uh, number three is it's getting real, Carolina Reaper, seven pot brain strain peppers. Four, pain sets in, two times Carolina Reaper, seven pot dougala. And the death nuts is uh, something that Johnny Scoville came up with them. And and uh, it's uh, two, twice the amount of Carolina Reaper, Moruga Scorpion, and 13 million Scoville capsaicin crystals. And as far as sauces goes, I've had a lot of my sauces that I had that, that I, I just really want just to completely knock me on my rear. I think I can, they peak out around little over a million, million and a half. That's like things like Exoresco from Burns and McCoy, Deverandum. Uh, one of my favorites is um, Hellfire Hot Sauces, Fiery Fool. That's that's no joke, and it's got really good flavor. But my favorite one is the Sorceress from Hellfire. It's uh, fruity, and it's pairing a bunch of fruits with uh, uh, peppers, and it's, it's pretty versatile for me. I like it, pizza. And I'm crazy enough to put it on ice cream. It even says it on the bottle. Put it on ice cream. But anyway, we're going to tear into this, go through some of the, um, the rules, <clears throat> and and I'm not the kind of person who sits and talks because my throat gets dry. Of course, with this challenge, you can't drink anything, so it's going to be kind of brutal for me. So Death Nut Challenge. Welcome to the Death Nut Challenge. Let's get started. Set your camera up or have a friend prepare you to film. You taking down the challenge. We appreciate your business. Good luck. And basically, I've got my iPad sitting here on the table, staring back at me. And and uh, it says, wear caution, extremely hot, wear gloves. And I apologize. I'm reading fast, and I'm just nervous, kind of like I was with the Chaco Challenge video. And it's like, where did that come from? Flip over the flip the blister over and use your thumbnail to pierce the foil behind peanut number one. Push the peanut through. Make sure your camera is filming and pop the peanut in your mouth. Now chew slowly and thoroughly for at least 30 seconds, then swallow. And I think some people have said that you only have to chew it for 15 because the peppers just disintegrate in your mouth. So we're going to start around 15, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with my timer. I'll just at least tell you. Number two, pause for at least 90 seconds, but no more than 180 seconds, and allow the peppers to fully bloom before moving on to the next step. No milk, water, or other liquids allowed. Repeat steps one and two for each of the remaining peanuts in the sequence, example number two, and then three, and then four, until you complete all peanuts in, in the challenge. To defeat the challenge, you must wait at least five minutes after eating the final death nut before drinking or eating anything else, which is your five minute afterburn. As you are doing the challenge, share the experience with your audience, describe the detail and flavor, texture, intensity, heat level you're experiencing. Be vocal. I'm gonna try. And how far did you go? Post your video now and show the world how tough your taste buds are. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put gloves on, but I've got a little medicine cup that I'm going to put each uh, set of nuts in. And I'm going to set my timer for a minute 45. So that'll give us a good starting point. Like I said, I'm crazy nervous right now. Um, let's see if I can find something here to maybe... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and poke a little hole in these. I'll do one at a time. Number one. Here goes. And I'll start it once I, once I get them down. Okay, that's roughly 15 seconds, and immediately what I'm picking up is that um, I think I'm in trouble too, because 
like I said, uh, the of the Reaper peanuts, the uh, the mediums are my favorite. And if I want just pure heat, I'll go with the uh, the wilds. And from what I remember, I think number one is right there in between them. So I'm thinking maybe number two is um, right there. It's good flavor though. Really good peanut flavor. <coughs> I think I might a bit a little bit more than I can chew. Got about 30 more seconds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and poke the hole in number two. Sorry about the comb, it's the only th thing I had right now without running off. But right now, that's kind of comfortable heat for me. I couldn't really eat this all the time. Okay. There's number one. There's number two. And I, I just finished eating dinner. Hopefully I prepped my stomach enough, but... Since I've been talking for a while, and it's been a couple minutes since I drank, my throat's really dry. So that kind of explains some of the issue I'm having with talking. But here's number two. The Carolina Reaper Ghost Pepper. I'm not noticing any, in my mouth, I'm not really noticing any difference in heat from one to two. There's maybe just a little bit more heat in, in my throat. But the flavor's really good. Like I said, it's somewhere, for me, it's somewhere in between two and three of these. I haven't quite hit three yet. <clears throat> And I'm feeling the pepper burp coming up, so excuse me. So far, I'm getting the heat mostly on the top of my tongue, and it's kind of creeping into my throat. <clears throat> I'm not not getting anything in the chest right now, which is going to be going to be scary because you know with reapers, that's where they hit me. But I want you to take a look at something real quick. This is number three. And look how coated that thing is. And this is, it's getting real. Carolina Reaper seven pot brain strain. Right now that I'm, the problem that I'm having is this, the coating of the peppers is sticking to my tongue. <clears throat> okay. Number three, down the hatch. Hey, once again, it's 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 weird because if I remember right, uh, Johnny Scoville was doing these not, you know, it's been a while back now, but um, he was saying that to him, there really wasn't a huge jump in heat from one to three. And that's kind of what I'm picking up. Um, and I wish I would have, oh, I got paper towels here. Never mind. Anyway, 
my I can tell my speech is starting to pick up. Um, but there's not a huge jump in heat between one to three. I mean, it's starting to build a little bit. I've got about 35 seconds left. There's, there's a definite difference in flavor from three to one. Okay, I'm gonna open up number four and get it ready. Okay, grab me a paper towel real quick. <clears throat> I can tell in from the the screen bouncing off in my face that I'm getting a little bit red in the face. Um, nose is starting to run a little bit. I'm getting it more in the back of my throat, in the very like top back of my tongue. But anyway, I just opened up number four. And there they are. <clears throat> it's getting warm. <laughs> it's not quite the level of the chili cherry nightmare, but I think it's going to get there pretty quick. <clears throat> Number four, pain sets in two times Carolina Reaper, seven pot Dugla. Still, I'm not up from here up. I'm not really getting a huge jump in heat. It's just kind of creeping up. Uh, usually when I start getting in, into my, out of my comfort level, my ears start tingling and uh, throat gets, gets a little crazy. But... I'm not getting any crazy heat in my mouth. Um, right now, I would say number four is kind of where the um, the Choco Challenge candy bar was. And I said nose is starting to run a little bit. But I'm very, I'm just barely starting to get a little tingle in my ears. <sighs> Talking does make it worse, though. And, of course, I've, I've got some refreshments in the freezer when I make it past the the death nut and if it's not much hotter than this I think I'm going to be okay Got about 10 seconds left here <coughs> starting to cough a little bit you said my timer is for a minute 45 it gives me Yeah, 15 seconds to chew and swallow, and a minute and 30 afterburn. But from what I can tell right now, the uh, the death nuts, I'm going to show you right here. Right here. They weren't as big as the, uh, as like uh, some of them in three and four were, but if they've got the 13 million capsaicin, I may be in trouble. And usually what happens is uh, if I get from here up, I'm okay. About 10 minutes later, those reapers hit me in the chest, and it's, cra it's crazy. And that's what the Choco Challenge did. It was fine up here, but 10 minutes after I hit stop on the video, it hit me right in the chest. It hurt. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Okay, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set my timer to, um, let's go 520. <clears throat> That'll give me some time to chew them up, the, the last death nut, and it'll give me the five minute afterburn. And we'll see what happens. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, five minute after burn has started. <clears throat> Those definitely have a twice the Carolina Reaper, Maruga Scorpion, and 13 million Scoville Capsaicin crystals. <clears throat> flavor wise, it seemed to have more of a smoky flavor than the others. Um, what's crazy is, is I'm not, I'm not picking up like, I know. Uh, Reapers are like 2 million on the, or they average out about 1.5 million on the Scovilles. And so I was expecting the Death Nut to be considerably hotter. And right now, not, it is hotter, definitely hotter, but it's not, com it's not tearing me up. It's, it's hit me really hard on the top of my tongue, whole, whole tongue. And throat and I've got about 354 on the timer yeah it's hot It didn't hit me at, <clears throat> it didn't hit me very hard at first, but the longer I sit, it is tearing my tongue up. It's getting kind of hard to swallow. Got tears. The tongue is on fire. Two forty left. Nothing in my chest yet, which is I'm a, what I'm afraid of. This is a long five minutes. I can feel my heart pounding pretty hard. My whole tongue is on fire. Minute 30 left. I think uh, once this minute's up, I'm going to hightail it to the, uh, the deep freeze, get my ice cream out, and maybe talk for a little bit. I'd say on a <clears throat> heat scale, I'm a, I'm a solid 7 on my, my tongue. Everything else is okay. That tongue burn in the, the top of the back of my throat. This is probably the worst I've had so far. 
Uh, everything my tongue is touching is burning. Roof of my mouth is burning. But I think I think I'm gonna be okay. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I kind of wish I'd have got the box just to say that I completed it. Um, kind of starting to get a little bit of an endorphin rush, getting a little lightheaded. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> I will be right back. Just so you wouldn't think I was cheating or nothing. I waited till the very end to get my ice cream. <sighs> this, that, <clears throat> it's, it, it's crazy because one through four weren't that bad for me. Number five, wow. Give me some. Kick it. Love kick it. It's crazy because uh, I figure I probably went from a seven to about a five uh, just going back to the deep freeze and getting my uh, treat. I think I deserved it. I, I've I've never done a challenge like this, and some people say that like the Pocky one chip challenge is like a three or four. If that's the case. No sweat. And I I decided to do the little goatee thing and kind of. Uh, memory of, not memory, but in honor of Johnny Scoville, he's he's a cool guy. Whew. It's still burning my tongue, in the roof of my mouth. Anyway, I'll go a couple minutes. I'm right at about 28 minutes long in this video. Don't really talk a whole lot any other time, but make an exception. But uh, no, I'm not, I'm not eating these tonight. That's enough spice for me for a while. <laughs> that number five, man, it's it, it's crazy. And with all due respect, I ain't doing the tuba terror. Not until I get my tolerance way higher. i tell you what, the ice cream does feel really good. The pain sets in. It was crazy because the number five it really, really didn't bother me until I finished it all and swallowed it. Then all of a sudden my, my tongue starts throbbing and my leg's shaking. I think it's just because I'm nervous. But anyway, I'm going to go a couple more seconds and shut this thing off so I can get it uploaded. Like I said, it's on, it's on my iPad, so uh, there's no editing involved. I'm just sitting here talking to everybody and the rest of my eyes are going off this way. The camera's pointing that way, so I apologize for that. A little bit of pepper burn. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be fine. Breathing a little hard. I think that's just really because of nerves.
like I said, I want to give a big thanks to the guys that have inspired me in my journey in uh, heat chasing. Uh, I'm going to talk about Johnny Scoville a lot. He's a cool dude. Um, uh, Nuff from Main Event Pong. Talked to him on YouTube a couple times. Just asking him what uh, his favorite stuff is. And, and uh, he told me that his favorite sauce for wing challenges is Fiery Fool. And Fiery Fool's got a unique flavor. And I like it. It's my favorite of the Super Hots. But there's... I can't handle more than a spoonful of it at a time. Uh, had a couple drops of it just starting out, and it just hit me in the chest. Yeah. Um, uh, hot sauce junkie Tim. Uh, he's a cool guy. I was just watching a video of his earlier. Uh, killer job on the, the Nemesis, and uh, he got. Uh, uh, Roger Trier, I've, I've never met him, never really talked to him before, but I've been watching a couple of his videos. Uh, hot damn show. Uh, Brian Ames is a cool guy, too. I haven't talked to him, but he's got some pretty crazy challenges. But anyway, uh, sorry for shaking the table. My, my, my leg's just going nuts. But the pain is starting to subside, and a lot, a lot of my shaking is because I've got something weird going on with my neck, and it gets my shoulder all tingly and, and tingly in my hands, and sitting at this table kills me doing that. But, hey, this is fun, and I appreciate uh, all the views that I get out of this. Uh, of course, uh, not being going, going to be going live anytime soon, but just what I'm doing is, is cool enough for me just, uh, just to kind of see what I can handle. And... Yeah, as far as this goes, one through four, I can handle just fine. One and two, I might be able to snack on for a little while. Three, three and four, maybe just a handful of it at a time. Five, this challenge is about all I can handle. Table terror, not a chance. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm without, you know, without saying, uh, I'm going to upload this as uh, soon as I can. Thanks. And, uh, good luck on your journey of heat. Whew. This was fun. The, uh, the, the heat in my mouth is subsiding. I'm going to sit here and eat my ice cream for a little while and, and uh, hopefully the cramps in my Chests don't get too bad. I think I prepped enough. Um, had some biscuits and gravy for dinner, so I had some starch and some milk and a little bit of fat from the from the uh, sausage, and topped it all off with a little bit of Pepto, just for just to be on the safe side. But let me tell you, Pepto doesn't do squat for the roof of your mouth. But anyway, thanks, Scott guys. See you next time.